Viewers of the PokeZoners, please be advised that Steven was high in the making of this video. Thank you. Hello PokeZoners, Mr. S620 here. We're going to do a new Wi-Fi battle. This one is against Hexes Naturally, which I really love this battle just because it was a really nice battle that had a lot of, uh, a lot of hacks, as you can tell by the guy's name. And it's actually a really fast log battle, so let's get started. I live with my Lux face, he lives off of his tentacle, which is a good leaf for me, so he could just switch out. But if he can switch out, I go for an Ice Fang, but I unfortunately miss. So I go out into Charizard, as he double switches out to Warpidam, I guess, predicting me to go out to something else. Now I predict him to switch out, and I just go right to Lardoon, as he does actually switch out into his Altaria, and then he switch back out to Warpidam, but I do go for Belly Drum. And I'm like, oh, I think I got this game. I think I got it already. Go for the extreme speed of forgetting that it's also a steel type. He does lay down a toxic, so it only does a little bit of a little bit on the half. So it's all good. Not good for him, but bad for me. So I go for seed ball for whatever reason. I don't, I don't even know what I was thinking here. But he protects. So I go for extreme speed, hoping to get a crit or take it out. Neither, but he gets stealth rocks up, which is not good for me. He goes for protect, so see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go straight for Shadow Core. I, I guess I was trying to save PP. And right here, I'm going to go for another XG suit, but he actually gets a double protect, and I was like, of course. So, like, that's the death of my Lydude. And Lydude's unfortunately dead, so that's going to suck. Uh, and then he's going to switch out to Altaria, and then just go straight for an Air Slash, trying to get as much damage. And he's going to pull off hacks, so I'm going to believe me, well, I'm not. He goes, he is actually able to get up a substitute as I just hit him with another air slash to break this up. He is just going to go straight for the roost so he can get back all the HP he lost. And add just some face pop to the face. And by the way, I did get a new bike if you could tell. And he's just going to go for another roost just to get back all of his HP. And I'm just going to go for an air slash. Hopefully get a thing, not a thing, a, uh, a flinch. But he does run me out into the newest member of my, two new members of my RU team, the Charizard and my... My, uh, my guy was Sauce Buck, because they both went down to are you and you. And I just go out to Bouchard because I know whatever, but I actually go for Toxic, as he does block it, which sucks, like, a lot. But I just go straight for to uh, Psychic, hope to take it out, take it, bring it up, but I don't. As he goes for Roy Jaws, we ran out to Luxray. Now, Luxray is a powerhouse. I spent times for effect as I was going to take out the uh, Substitute and Skype GTFO. And he goes for Cotton Guard. So now he's at plus six. I go for another gun, and that's times four. That does thirty-one percent. That still does a nice chug. And he goes for roost and stuff and whatever. But sorry if I'm really quiet because it's one seventeen in the morning. And I decided to do this on Friday instead of Saturday or Tuesday and stuff. So he goes for substitute. As I know next, I say group make it hit faded the sub. And he's just gonna go. Pretty sure he's just gonna go straight for roost again. Or actually, he predicts to me to break the sub. He's just gonna go straight for another sub. Smart point now, he's gonna go for the boost right here. You know, he's gonna go for another sub. This guy was confusing me. I'm sorry if I, I feel a little bit of match that boy. Now he's gonna go for roost. Now positive, yes. Alright, so now he goes for roost as he as I do break the sub with another ice fang. He's just trying to back up life orb damage as he, I just he just goes right after Charizard. I go for an ice fang, it actually does a nice little chunk. But he is gonna be able to take me out with uh Charizard because Charizard is really good at all at any you now. I have my specs Charizard, but he actually has a life orb Charizard, which could be dangerous. As I go for a psychic, as he predicts me, it goes out to Skunk Tank. And I'm already at a disadvantage at 6 of 40. He goes for a taunt. As I go for a moonlight, go to see what he's going to do, but he actually, as I'm getting sent back, he actually predicts that again. It goes for pursuit. And this guy was actually ranked 10th at the time. We had this battle, so I was already at disadvantage. Now I go on to my South Park as I predicted, but I go for a sword stance. Right here, here is crucial. I hit my jump kick and actually take out the word without S. So that's good. Right here is crucial. He goes out to Skunk Tank. Goes for the Sucker Punch. I live with 9%. And I actually am able to hit the Mega Horde and take it out. So you know what? That's a double down. That's That was a really good play right there. That stuff. And now, oh, oh, no, no, Skype, Skype. Skype, stuck it, stop it, oh god, no, but, <laughs> anyways, back to the battle, I go for Shadow Ball as he goes out to Mischievous, and stuff, as he goes to Toxic Spike, I go for another Shadow Ball, as he sets up both ways to Toxic Spike, which really doesn't matter for me, Tiny Jeeth, I really don't care, and I go straight for a, and I right here, here's a crucial part of this match, I actually outspeed, hit the Willow Wisp, and he actually goes to Substitute after, which is actually funny, because I outsped it, 
and that guy actually got the will of us, which is going to be crucial. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. He's going to go for the roost to get back all of his HP, basically. And I'm just like, ah, troll face. So now he's just gonna. I'm just gonna go for another sub shadow ball. He's gonna go for substitute again, cause his substitute did break. And then I go for another shadow ball. Get a critical hit, fade the sub. Here comes when the hack starts coming into my favor. Yeah, I got the cut substitute. He goes to substitute. I get a critical hit. I go for. Then he goes for the roost to get all, all his HP. I go for substitute. Not substitute. I go for a shadow ball, and do a nice chunk of damage a little bit, about seventeen percent. I can actually get another critical hit to take out the sub, and I was just like, lost your old. Yeah, you bad, bro. And then, uh, I go for another Shadow Ball as he goes for a substitute. And he's behind his sub, and he's just gonna go straight for a roost, because that's a smart thing to do. He takes his damage, and he goes for the roost, and shut the fuck up, Skype. And I also gonna like love this mic right now. Uh, he goes for another substitute. I go for Shadow Ball. He's gonna go for another substitute. I go for Shadow Ball. I don't know. Oops, I'm going too, I'm going too fast. I know she's. I go for Shadow Ball. He goes for Roar, which is like well bad. Show face. I only have three Pokemon left. You have four. So I'm already at a disadvantage. And right now, I'm not liking where I'm at. So I am dragged out to Bouchard. He goes for Roost as I just go straight for a Psychic. And now, now that takes out his sub. <sighs> Fix the mic. And, uh, so right now I'm going to predict him to go for a Substitute as I am just going to go straight for a Moonlight. Get back as much HP as I can because Bouchard is a key factor to a team like this and stuff. So he still has the burn. I wish I got the Toxic instead. But you know what? Winners can't be, Megas can't be choosers. He goes for Roar as he brings out his Charizard, which does unfortunately die by pointed rocks. So that was a waste and stuff. So now I go back out to Mischievous, who is the big MVP, as you will see why he's the MVP and stuff. So, like, I go, he goes for Roost as I go for Shadow Ball, breaking his slum. I go for Dark Pulse here. Just to see how much it'll do, and it does pitiful. And I actually get the flinch, and I'm like, lols. Here comes the hacks. And I go for a shadow ball, as he's just gonna go straight for a substitute. And now I right hear he's gonna roost up as I go for another shadow ball. And I'm running out of shadow ball PP, which I do notice, and I'm starting to get a little afraid of. And Mischievous is still gonna be the MVP, and you'll see why in a couple seconds. Not very a couple seconds, you'll say. As I go for a dark pulse just to break the sub, try to save some PP. And, uh, I go for a shadow ball here, do as much as I can. And he's just phasing me out left and right. And right here, as soon as I got brought to Bouchard, I'm like, oh, it's game, I, I lost. For many reasons, though, because one, my mischievous, I don't think it'd take the rest of his team. Two, he looks like he's in a good spot right now just to sweep my team with this one thing alone, because he's been stalling forever. And ever. He goes for another roost right here, and I am still in with my Bouchard as I just go for the psychic, hoping to make the sub. I do make the sub, which is very fortunate. Which is good for me, unfortunate for him, because he's gonna have to set up another substitute right here, causing him a terrible stall, basically. Actually, not really, he actually helps him with stall. But it doesn't matter, because I go for psychic, and I get as much damage as I can off and I have sub. And stuff happens. He goes for roost, I go for another psychic. Break the sub. Uh, uh, ow, god, my head hurts. And now he's gonna go out, I'm gonna double switch here. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know double switch. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna double switch. I'm gonna go for Will-O-Wisp. But he actually predicts that and actually switches out into uh goes out to this thing, out Terrier. I go for the paid split, because I can. And stuff. Ah, I'm tired. He's gonna go back out to Barrowack, as I just go straight for Moonlight to get back as much things as I can. Because, you know, whatever. And now he's gonna go for Stone Edge, and I know he does 35%. I go for the Psychic, just to get as much damage as I can off. Uh, uh, come on, Marowak. Just die. And I actually just die by poison. I'm like, oh, God, it's four to one. I'm in trouble. 
But actually, I take out the bear right now. It's four to three. What? No, one to three. Three one. I go for the bird here because it'd be pretty crucial. I resist that. He's hoping to get his poison on me. He doesn't get it. Thank God. I go for that. I get the special defense job. Even better. He goes for another sword drop. Doesn't even get the freaking. Doesn't even get the uh, poison again. And I'm like, lols, man. Hax is coming back you. Bite you in the ass. I go for a shadow. Dark balls. Here, try to bait him into thinking I actually ran out of shadow balls. Because that's basically another main point. But I actually show my actual more shadow balls. As he goes to roost, and I'm like, oh, it's GG, I can't kill this thing, this thing's fucking up my team. I'm hoping he's gonna run out of roost, and to tell you the truth, right here, I go for the page to get back as much HP as I can. It doesn't show it, but I actually did get back to HP. So, uh, I go for Dark Pulse right here, try to bait him into thinking that I don't... I'm trying to bait him into using all of his roost. Because once you get runs out of roost, it'll be very important and crucial to this match, because I actually have a chance to actually come back and win this. And I go for another Dark Pulse as he shows me he runs out of roost. And I'm like, yes, yes, thank you. Because right here, I go for another Dark Pulse, pick this up. He's going to keep going for Roar since this is my last Pokemon. This shows me he actually has ran out of subs. The subs are uh, ran out of, of uh, roost. And now right here, I actually get a special fetch top, which is nice as well. I go for a Dark Pulse, see how much it's going to do. It does 15%. He goes for another Roar. And he's still going to lose some HP. And then right here I go for another Dark Pulse. As he's just going to go for Roar again. And fortunately, he does die by the bird. So this troll is out of the way. Now it's 2-1. He's going to go out to Tentacruel. I go for the Dark Pulse. And you know what? Just to be what I am, I get the flinch. And I'm like, you know what? This is all a payback. I actually got to be earlier before. So fuck you, man. And I kill it out, now it's 1-1, one one and he goes out to Charizard, right here, crucial point, he goes for Substitute, I go for Shadow Ball, pick the Substitute, he's gonna go for Roost, I go for Shadow Ball to get as much damage as I can off on this thing, and since I have Eviolite, Max Special, and right there, crucial, crucial, Special Defense drop, crucial, I go for, since I have Max Special Defense, Max HP, he goes for Fire West, he hits, but I live with 4%, and I'm like, yes, Dark Pulse for the win. Oh, uh, I win. I came back and I fought one of them with a mis freaking mischievous. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching again since I haven't been back here the past two weeks. I'm just going to go over a little bit what happened. Camtasia stopped working on me. It's just going to be here really quick. Camtasia stopped working on me. I had to re-download it. I had to reboot my computer. Whatever. That's it. See you guys. See you next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel. Peace.